Hey everyone, welcome back to CodeSF. This is our day 20 of 365 days of coding. And today we have another simple problem uh, which we will solve. And this problem is basically related to division and finding the floor value. Don't worry, uh, we are going to break it down uh, step by step in plain English. And if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe for more programming tips and solutions so let's dive right into it all right so you can pause the video and uh, take a good read of this problem and try to solve it by yourself meanwhile let me explain my understanding of uh, this this problem basically so i have wrote the understanding here so uh, the problem is basically to find the floor of the division of two numbers and these numbers are a and b and we need to take these two numbers as input and print the floor value of a divided by b and the floor value is basically the largest integer that is less than or equal to the result of the division got it now let's see uh, what will be our approach uh, to to solve this problem so what we will do we will first take uh, we will read the values of a and b then we will calculate the division of uh, uh, of a and b and store it in 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 the result and then we will convert this result to the largest integer which is less than or equal to it okay now finally we will print the floor value so let's write a code for a better understanding of, of this approach. Okay, so we have wrote our solution in here. So as I said, first we, we are reading the values of A and B here. Okay, then we are calculating the division of uh, the result by dividing A by B. So here we are doing that and storing into this division result variable then we are converting the result to the largest integer which is less than or equal to it so we are using another variable floor result and we are converting this division result into integer okay and store it into floor result and finally we are printing the result let's run this so the input is 4 and then 5 4 then 5 and we are getting 0 now the input is 16 and 2 and we are getting 8 let's run this again 16 and 2 we will get 8 okay so we are getting the correct result now let's see how we can optimize this uh, <coughs> solution a uh, little bit so first we will can take this input like this only okay we need both a and b then instead of doing these two things okay this much we have a flow division operator in python that we can directly use in here so let me write the code we have wrote this code but let's correct this okay so this is the uh, correct code this is our optimized code and you can see Previously we are doing this much stuff. Now we are doing everything under three lines. Okay, uh, and this is the thing, the flow division operator which we use in Python. So next time you get a question where you need to find the flow division directly use this statement. Okay, so let's run this and see whether this is working as same as the previous uh, previous approach or not. Okay, so let's see. So first input was 4 and 5, so 4 and then 5 and we are getting 0. Now we have another 16 and 2, so 16 and divided by 2 and it will give 8. See we are getting the same result. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, it's a simple solution to find the floor of a divided by b i hope this breakdown and the python code were helpful and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for more programming content happy coding